Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the main menu because this is a quick tutorial on how to play cooperatively over the internet. A lot of people just assume Stranded Deep has local co-op play, but if you bought the game via Steam, you can actually play using remote play. It is the little blue and pink icon at the bottom of the screen when you load the game up for the first time. The way you do this is you have to have a keyboard and mouse attached to the host computer. You also have to have a controller such as an Xbox controller attached to the host computer. The way this works is that only one person needs the game, but both people need to have Steam installed. So uh, we are going to change the save slot. We're going to change it to slot two because I, I currently have a world going on. If you've been watching the channel, uh, I have a 400 episode playthrough, so I'm not going to get rid of that. So I'll hit slot two. I will hit apply. Once that is done, I'm going to hit play, I'm going to hit new game, and I'm going to change the mode to cooperative. It's already set uh, for us for convenience. So uh, player one is going to be on keyboard and mouse, player two is going to be on the controller. Gender, male and female, just literally switch the two. Permadeath is off because why would you want that in a co-op game where you don't have the other person in the same room? Difficulty and wildlife are on normal, and I'm going to use the existing world. So what I'll do is I'll hit start. Warning, cooperative game mode is selected, but not all players have a controller assigned. Ah, okay, so we'll hit back, back, and we'll go to options, and then input. So we have uh, the keyboard and mouse is assigned to P1. X, X input gamepad, which is my Xbox input, I'm going to hit player 2. So player 1, player 2, and we're going to hit uh, apply. Uh, we'll hit back. We'll go to play, new game, uh, everything is already set, so we will just hit start. Okay, currently I am in the raft. What I'm going to do, for simplicity's sake, is I'm going to pick the paddle up. And then I am going to get on the raft and I'm going to sail us to an island because I'm going to invite my brother in a moment, he is currently in Mumble. Say hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. He is actually the first person to be on uh, to be on the Stranded Deep video in 400 episodes. So what we'll do is we'll get to the island because I saw a tiger shark just sort of swimming around out there. Um, take the paddle, put that there, and then deploy the anchor so he doesn't... Hmm. Okay. I think what I can actually do is just drag the raft onto the beach. So currently we are in local co-op mode. Um, so that's him there. If I hit shift and tab, I'll bring up the overlay. I can right click, uh, well, I can left click on his name and the little down arrow, remote play together. And that's going to bring up the remote play option. So I've sent him an invite. So if you accept that invite, um, joined remote play session. So I can hit uh, shift and tab. I return us to the game. And now, hopefully, Alex, can you see the game? Can you see Stranded Deep? I can see Stranded Deep, and it's split screen. It is split screen. So I am now on the right-hand side. I am the person in the raft, and Alex is now on the beach. Hello. This is Hello. this is the first time. Uh, this this is the first time I've ever tried to do remote play cooperatively. Now, Alex isn't here. He is, in fact, in his own apartment, his own flat. And he is probably experiencing Stranded Deep for the first time. Can you confirm, Alex, that you do not have Stranded Deep installed on your hard drive? I most definitely do not have Stranded Deep installed on my hard drive. Is Stranded Deep a game that you would like to play? Yes. <laughs> excellent question. Uh, excellent answer. Would you like to... Um, I just got disorientated for a moment. So I'm going to go this way. I'm on the right-hand screen. Okay, so if you follow me, uh, there's a wreck out here. Um, it's basically WSAND. You've got spacebar to go up, you've got control to go down. Um, there's a cool thing out here. So you, we've got water and stuff out uh, out in the world. If you follow me out. Um, you want me to get munched by a shark? Please. Yeah, I was hoping you would get munched by a shark. That would be kind of fitting. Uh, I don't see him. He was around here. No, I have known you for a very long time. I know <laughs> your shenanigans. <laughs> You do need to breathe, so the meter at the bottom of the screen currently is your... Oh, the, the swimming animations are wonderful. Excellent. I guess um, there's the nice no third-person view, then. Um, 
I think that there could be a third person view, but it's like a bit of a hack. Uh, the, the wonderful thing about running it remotely like this is that the horsepower is coming off my computer. So all the rendering is done on my computer and then I just send him the screens uh, or send him um, basically like a live stream of what's going on. So he's literally, oh, there's a shark. Is that shark? Am I about to be munched by a shark? Whoop. I'm not used to using a... I'm not used to using a controller. Okay, so that's how you you set up a remote play session across the internet with Stranded Deep. Of course, the caveat is you still need split screen. You can't get away from split screen. But um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this little tutorial, definitely, wow, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.